Hi guys, Julia here from James Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with an insane haul from the Goodwill Bins. That is the Goodwill Bins, AKA the outlets, not to be confused with the Goodwill stores or a regular thrift store. I went to my favorite location around me that is $1 per item. And I think I have 50 pieces. Uh, it was a good week. <laughs> I will say that it started very slow. It was one of those kind of discouraging mornings where within like the first two table changes, I think I was coming back with maybe, I think the first table change I came back with one piece and the second table change I came back with two pieces, which is very unusual, um, at least in my location. And I, you know, it was one of those days where I'm like, do I just go home? Is it gonna be like this all day? But when the spigot opened, the spigot open. So super, super happy uh, to share all of these goods with you. But first and foremost, if you are new here, welcome. Welcome aboard. I'm so happy to have you along for the ride. Uh, if you are into thrifting, if you are into vintage pieces, if you are into reselling on the internet, hit subscribe down below. I would love to have you along on this journey. We're building this incredible community of thrifters and resellers that are helping each other out and uh, really just helping raise the tide for all of us. So join us. But guys, let's get going. I've got a lot to go through with you. So grab a snack, grab a drink, Settle in, get comfy, and let's get into the goods. Okay, so first off, we're gonna start with the one like non-clothing item that I found. And I, you know, I don't really know what this is worth. If any of you guys have picked Fossil before, let me know. Like the, the quality on this bag is really very nice. It's 100%, it's all leather. And it's this kind of cool bronze color. And the way that it hangs is like, it folds over like that. And it's got this nice like wide strap to it. Um, I don't really know how, is there anything in here? No? A couple gum wrappers? Um, you know, so I don't really know what I'll get for this. Guys, again, like weigh in if you've uh, thrifted fossil bags before. There's the logo there. Um, maybe 30 bucks on this. Like I said, I, the quality is really nice and I grabbed it because of the quality. So super excited to see uh, you know, what happens to it. I just thought it was really cool. So next up here is a really cool piece from Torrid. I do love picking Torrid and I love picking dresses from Torrid. It's this really pretty like boho dress. It's got these kind of peasant sleeves, a nice little tie neck so you can kind of adjust it to however much coverage you want. It's a size one, which I believe is a 1X. And this feels absolutely positively brand new. You know, it's a white dress and I'm grabbing it from the bin. So it's always a, like, where's the stain? <laughs> Not an, is there a stain? It's like a, where's the stain situation, but none to be found and in really great condition. So probably 30 bucks on this, maybe 35, depending on the model. Um, it's really, really cute and in fantastic condition. Next thing I grabbed was this free piece. I saw this, um, I mean, you can barely see it, but I saw that little embroidery there sticking out of the bins. And it's this little free people movement kind of cropped sweatshirt. This has like an acid wash feel to it, uh, like in terms of the aesthetics, like it kind of looks acid or garment dyed. I think this might be considered garment dyed, but it's a really like thick fleece. I like the piecing on the back. Um, and I really like, look at the bottom hemline, just like a little interest there around that cropped bottom. Um, I think they still make this and I want to say, you know, probably 35 bucks on that since it is still in line and it's in like brand new condition. That was a great find. Next up, this is one of my, in fact, I am, I am wearing a piece from them today. This is one of my favorite brands in the whole world, Koss. So keep an eye out for, this is just like a little basic, a little basic. First of all, it's a size, is it a size large? Will this be staying with me? Maybe. Um, it's a really boxy oversized t-shirt. It's got kind of like a mock neckline. It's something that Cost does really well. You know, they're known for this really minimalist style of clothing, um, you know, with really fantastic quality. So it's just a nice oversized boxy tee, again, all white, in perfect condition, not spot, a speck, anything. This really feels like it was never worn, maybe worn once. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'll get for this. I want to say that their t-shirts go for like 39 or 40 bucks, so maybe 20 bucks on this. Um, but either way, I'm really always excited to find 
anything from cost. Like I said, it's, it's something that for years I've been a fan of it for so long. I've always had to order it because it was only in the UK. And now there are a few stores, at least here in the Southern California area. And that makes me very happy. Next up. And guys, I got to tell you, this was like a week of dresses. I, I feel like I've got everything Revolve and Anthropology ever sold here. So this is a brand called Beach Gold. It's another one of those, um, I think it's another high-end kind of Australian brand. We know that I found quite a bit. Uh, but I believe they were sold in Anthropology, And it's this cute little wrap dress. It's got little bell sleeves. Um, and it's a, it's a true wrap dress with a little ruffle hem. It is so cute. What size is this? It's a size medium. Love seeing a size medium and not necessarily a size small. So probably 30 bucks on this. Um, their comps go, I've seen comps, sold comps from Beach Gold anywhere between $20 and $70. So I'm just going to bank on 30 and maybe I'll get a little bit more for it, but super, super, super cute. I got so many dresses like this today and I can't wait to show you. Next up, this is, I mean, if you saw my haul from a few weeks back, I will link it below. Um, and my tirade on the Lululemon All Yours shirt. <laughs> um, if this was a different color, this would be staying with me because it is another Lululemon All Yours shirt. It's just in this kind of like olive green that does not work for my skin tone. I believe this is a size large. It looks like it was, um, it looks like it's the same size as mine, but fantastic condition. Again, doesn't feel like it's been worn, but of course this could have been worn 200 times knowing the quality of this top. But definitely one to look for. If you're looking for this in the bins, you wanna look for this back seam and then the logo. There's no other logo and usually the, the size tag is ripped out. The logo is gonna be really tonal and on the bottom right hip. So probably, I don't know, probably 15 or 20 bucks on that, but I'm super happy to have found another one and I just wish it was in another color. So, okay, so these I'm gonna donate, but I kept them in the haul because I wanted to show you guys why I'm gonna be donating this. This is a pair of Paige jeans, which is a brand to be on the lookout for, for sure. These jeans retail for like $200. Um, they're really, really nice quality, but especially if you are a newer reseller or you're just kind of getting into this, listen up. So when you have a jean with a kind of stretch in it, right? Any kind of stretch in it, that means that there's some kind of elastic or spandex in the weave. And if you've ever experienced a pair of like really old shorts that like, you know, get stretched out in the waistband, that can also happen to the fibers in denim. So if you look closely, can you see the ripple right here? that kind of goes right across. I'm trying to, I think that's being picked up by the camera there. So when you see that, that basically means that these jeans have effectively been stretched out. There is a chance that it can be saved, but in general, like when you are reselling, for the most part, you're looking for profit, not a project. Somebody told me that very early on and it stuck with me. Um, oftentimes, if you're seeing something like this, the juice is not going to be worth the squeeze. It's not going to be worth the effort you put into it because it's a pretty low chance that it's going to be able to be fixed. But uh, just something to look out for as you're thrifting. If you find a great brand of je jeans, great. You know, everybody's always going to check the, the crotch for like blowout. But make sure you look all around the areas where jeans tend to be stretched the most. It's usually your hips, usually around here. Sometimes you see it kind of like around the booty. Um, and if you see that ripple, don't even bother. So I'm going to donate this right back um, right back in. But again, I just wanted to keep this in the haul so I could kind of show you that if that's something that you're not familiar with. Next up, now this is one I'm probably not going to get a ton for, but this is a Viore t-shirt. This is the logo patch you're looking for. Can you see that? And pretty much anything from Viore is going to sell like hotcakes right now. Now, obviously this is not something that I'm predicting is gonna be forever a seller, but like people love this brand. They really love the joggers. I am everybody. I have three there, I think. Um, but really anything that they make is gonna sell. Like this is just a plain little pocket tee and it's, you know, it's definitely got some wear to it. I'll still probably get $20 on this if I don't keep this for myself. But Viore is definitely a bolo brand. It sells quick, it sells for a great price. Um, always, always, always be on the lookout for. And I would say almost anything, just grab it. 
almost anything. Obviously check for condition. Don't go paying $10 for a t-shirt. But if you see it, if you see one of the joggers for $10, or if you see one of like the, uh, the men's kind of crew neck sweatshirts, that's another one that's moved lightning fast for me. Um, one of the men's like crew neck, uh, like sweatshirts that are in their kind of, um, stretchy material for 10 bucks, do it. I mean, I, I think the last one I sold, I sold for like 80 bucks. So Definitely a bolo brand. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> this dress, I'm obsessed. So I grabbed this because I saw the print, and I'm not going to show this up close because there are some ladies in their most natural state on these, on this fabric. Um, look at this cute little dress. I am absolutely obsessed. It's like a little skater dress. It's got this cute little, like, velvet ribbon tie. The quality is really nice. So the brand is Rose Cut. And it's not something that I think has a huge following. You know, when I looked this up, this is a small batch um, clothing designer. I think they're local here to the Southern California area. I think that they make, this is called, I think it's called the, um, the Lavender Utopia print. They have a couple other pieces that are still for sale on their site. This is not for sale on the site. Um, you know, and they, and they retail probably somewhere between $100 and $200, depending on the piece. But I am just obsessed with this print. I Like I said, I'm not going to put it close up to the camera just in case, um, in case there's little kids watching or whatever, but I urge you to go to their website. In fact, I'll link their website down below so you can go and check out the pieces in more detail. I am not at all sure what I'll get for this. I could not leave it behind. I literally could not leave this behind. It's a size small. Um, like I said, I, I think this might be just like a handmade small batch little designer around here that makes absolutely fabulous prints. Maybe 40, 50 bucks on that? Maybe 20, 30? I don't know. Um, we'll find out. But like I said, I will link this down below so you can go and check out their other pieces. Because if you are somebody who likes a really whimsical print, you're going to be in heaven. And obviously support a small business. Next up, we've got a nice little Chico's piece. It's a Chico size 2 which is a, a women's size medium, but it's this pretty like lacy knit. Again, another white piece in the bins. No spots, no tears, no stains, no nut. This looks this looks and feels brand new. Um, but can you see the pattern on this? Isn't that kind of cool? So it's completely sheer. You know, it's something you would have to wear underneath. You would have to wear something underneath. Look at the bottom how that knit is. I just thought this was so cute. You know, probably 25 to 30 bucks on this, and oh my goodness, there's just a hint of shimmer in here. I don't know if that is picky, I don't know, I mean, it's really, really subtle, but there's just a little bit of shimmer to this weave. So cool, I love that. Next up, this one is from House of Harlow 1960. This is Nicole Richie's brand, and I just, I love her style, so I'm always kinda like, eyes out on what she does. They sell at Revolve. I've definitely seen uh, some pieces at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but this feels like one of the really solid like basics. So I would not be surprised um, if this is pretty in demand. It's this cute little like square neck cropped long sleeve. And it's, um, the fabric is like, it's like, oh, it almost feels like a matte spandex, right? Like it has a lot of stretch. It doesn't feel like shapewear, um, but the bodice is double lined. So it's gonna give you a little bit of support. So if you are somebody, you know, who doesn't necessarily need a bra, you might be able to like get away with this without a bra. It's super cute and in perfect condition. Size medium. And again, in this really pretty like nude color, I can see a million girls wearing this. And again, you know, just great to find. It is a Revolve brand. I love finding Revolve brands in the bins. And I will tell you that there are quite a few Revolve brands in this haul. Quite a few. Next up, this is another brand to be on the lookout for. I can't, you know, these, so many of these were, um, you know, they have the Goodwill tags on them. So that means that they came from the stores. This is a brand called Wilfred. Is that showing up there? And Wilfred is an Aritzia in-house brand. And they're probably the most famous for their, uh, they have these really beautiful tailored trousers um, and they're called the Effortless Pants. I literally have three pairs in my closet right now. They are not cheap, but they are beautifully made. They're this gorgeous like Japanese crepe. So if that's something you're in the market for and you're looking to kind of get a little bit of an investment piece, check out the Wilfred Effortless Pants. They're fabulous. Um, 
So, but this is like a little satin slip dress. It's this pretty kind of like cream and neutral pattern. Again, perfect condition. You can see that it's cut on the bias. Just a beautiful piece. And you know, I think that this would have run about $128 just going by their typical pricing. Oh, and this does have adjustable straps, which love to see. I'm somebody who's really short from here to here. So anytime there's not adjustable straps, that's trouble for me. Um, and so I love to see it. But Wilford is known for like really good quality stuff. Um, I, again, I think this was $128 uh, brand new, so maybe 30 on the resale market, and it is a size medium. I think it's a size medium. Yeah, size medium. Maybe a little bit more, maybe like 40. Super cute. I've never, I've never grabbed one of the satin dresses before, so we'll find out. All right, so this is a brand here that used to do really well for me, and it's been moving a lot slower recently, so I haven't been picking up most of the pieces I found. Um, and that's Aster the Label. This is another brand I believe is sold at Revolve. It's one of their kind of less expensive brands. But I love this little dress. It's this cute little tiered black button front kind of shirt dress. It's got a little um, drawstring waist, which is elasticated, so you have a little give. It's a size extra small. Uh, you know, maybe 25, 30 bucks on this. I just thought it was really cute. And it's a little bit more of a substantial kind of classic piece. Um, but, you know, definitely something, if, if Aster is something that you used to buy or you're something you're really on the lookout for, make sure you're kind of familiar with what's moving from the brands. Like I said, this used to sell really hot for me and it doesn't move quite as fast anymore. And when it does sell, it sells for lower prices. So um, just something to be on the lookout for. But again, I'm never going to say no to a beautiful, like, basic black dress in great shape. Next up, we love to see her, our girl Eileen Fisher. Always one of my favorite things to find, especially in the bins. This is silk and linen, I believe. Sorry, wool and silk. And it's this cute, just like little basic gray cardigan with a shawl collar. It's a size large, I believe. Yeah, size large, always a great size to find probably 35 or 40 bucks on this. Again, Eileen Fisher does basics better than pretty much anybody in the world. Um, I'll die on that hill. She really does. The materialization, the fabrication, the construction is all beautiful. I always feel really good about selling them. You know, I know that it's going to be a good sales price for me as a reseller, and it's going to be a great deal for the buyer on a really great piece of clothing. Again, you know, they, they run, this sweater was probably about $300 new. So the resale price doesn't reflect the original price. You know, so the buyer is getting a really great deal, but I'm also getting a pretty good sales price. You know, it's not going to be a 70 or $80 sale on something like this. It's, you know, super basic. Some of the pieces, sure, but like anything like this, you know, somewhere to 30, 40 bucks. Um, so it's just like a win, win, win across the chain. That makes me happy. Those are my favorite kind of sales. Next up, we've just got some little Nike uh, jog shorts. These are lined. They're great condition, a nice like peacock color. Um, you know, probably 15 bucks on these. Nike always tends to move pretty quick if I find the right style stuff um, at the right price. And this is, what size is this? Yeah, it's a size 10, which is a good size to find. Got a little zip pocket there in the back. Really nicely made. Um, you know, these could be 10 years old and they feel brand new. Oh, this was such a cool find. Okay, so I found this. Um, and I felt, can you see it? Can you just see how gorgeous that silk is? So I felt this silk and I'm like, whoa, what are you? It's this beautiful like eggplant colored, oh, I can't stop, I'm sorry. Just let me, let me nerd out about this. And then I felt the straps and I love, the straps are like lingerie style. This feels like a strap that might be on your bra, but it is rigid so it doesn't have any stretch. So I look at the tag. And I'd never seen it before. It says Eden. I don't know if you can really tell that. But when I get home, I start looking it up. Oh, my God. Also, little dagger <laughs> underneath. the. Can you see that? There's like a little embroidered dagger under the one strap. And so I look it up. And Eden is a brand that was owned by Bono and his wife, like Bono of U2. And it's no longer in business. But, I mean, the quality on this is un believable. I would say, you know, it's a bolo brand, keep your eyes out, but I don't know 
how much of this is out in the world, but for sure, if you see a piece, grab it. I, you know, I'm not quite sure what this will go for on resale, but uh, you know, maybe 20 bucks, but I'm always happy to have a piece like this to sell. Even, you know, even if it's not going for a hundred dollars, I think that these retailed somewhere in the like $198 range. The last one in this first bag. Ooh, speaking of silk, uh, another gorgeous silk piece. I felt the silk and I'm like, this is stunning. And sure enough, this is vintage for sure. I want to say probably 80s, maybe 70s. And it's Oscar de la Renta. Come on. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, this day started so slow. And here I am pulling Oscar de la Renta pink label, which is so Oscar de la Renta has a bunch of different labels. This is not a diffusion brand. This is just Pink Label is their lingerie brand, their lingerie line. Um, but it's this long, beautiful nightgown. It's got some like little specks and little like, you know, picks in it, but it is silk. I think I might take this to the dry cleaners to see what they can do with it. I, generally, I trust them with silk a little bit more than I trust me. I do have some tricks for silk, but when you're dealing with something like this, I'm going to trust the pros. Um, I can just see, I can see somebody buying this, cutting off the bottom and rocking it with like a leather jacket. I wish I, I wish I had the huevos to do that, but <laughs> um, I don't, I'm not quite sure what I'll get for this. Maybe 50 or 60 bucks. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. Isn't that stunning? Look at that neckline. Ugh. It's like a midi length, which I like. It's kind of unusual. And it is in great shape considering the fact that it's probably 30 or 40 years old. So happy to find that. So now we're on to the big bag. Um, first up here is this great little Vineyard Vines Edgar Town Polo. This is, I think, their classic polo. Um, if you're not familiar with Vineyard Vines, this is the little logo you're looking for. They did a collab with Target a few years back, and it sold out pretty quickly. I think I still have one piece in my closet uh, for sale. But this is really their, like, classic kind of basic polo but they go for like a hundred dollars so this will probably resell for like 30 um, and it will probably go very quickly most of the men's vineyard vine stuff that i've put up gets snapped up lightning quick you know because they're really nicely made things you know thirty dollars for a polo that's going to last you 15 years is better than dropping thirty dollars on something that's going to be falling apart in a year <clears throat> next up here this i think this is lucky brand I just really loved this little sweater. I believe this is linen blend, but it's this cute, like loose weave, beachy sweater with crochet sleeves. And look at the back, look at those cute little buttons on the back. Just the little detail, it's a size medium. It's in great shape. There's no content tag, but I could definitely feel that this is a linen blend. You know, probably 25 or $30 on this. This is just a very classic sweater. Again, you know, this could be, a year old, this could be 15 years old. You know, this is something that will just always be in style and it's in fantastic condition. Doesn't look like there's any kind of like color wear or additional pilling, no picks, no stains, no nothing. So definitely a good find. I love finding Lucky Brand in kind of more substantial pieces. And I also love in the summer, only in the summer, if you can find some of their like rigid cotton, like um, like Oxford cotton boho tops, they move really quick for me as well. Next up is another, it's a pair of leggings from a brand called Outdoor Voices. And I don't know if you've ever heard of this. They were kind of known for having like color block leggings, like the top would be you know, whatever, blue, and then the bottom part would be green, but this is like all gray, all gray? Or is this black and gray? No, this is all gray. And, you know, Outdoor Voices used to sell like crazy for me. Like if you got one, it would be, and you listed it, it would be gone, like the colors were limited edition, they were always sold out. Um, but the fact of the matter is with leggings, once, and I'm sure a lot of you have this experience, like once you find the legging that works for you, you will stick with that legging. Like there is a particular model of Lululemon leggings that they stopped making like five or six years ago that I still seek out on the, on the secondhand market because I just, I love it so much. It fits right. It's got the right amount of compression. You know, it's the right fabric. So Outdoor Voices still has some serious devotees. It's not going to go as, oh, here's a bigger logo there. That's what you're looking for. 
Um, you know, so it's still got a lot of devotees. It's not probably going to sell out of my closet within, uh, you know, an hour like it would have a couple years ago, but this will still probably sell very quickly. It's a good size, size large. It's a really like good basic color. So I don't think I'll have any trouble moving that. Next up. Now I would have bought this. I don't care what brand it is because I love the print. I'm telling you guys, the prints today were off the chains. So this is Zara. And this is like the most adorable little sundress. And it's in, um, I think this fabric is called Plisse, P-L-I-S-S-E. -S -S -E. It's kind of like a micro crinkled, it's polyester, but it's a very lightweight polyester. And it's got like a micro crinkle to it. And I like, I remember having pieces in Plisse like that I bought vintage back in like the early 90s and they were from the 70s. So I think that this is kind of a holdover from the 70s. But look at this pattern. I can't even handle this. And it's got a little rope tie that's braided attached from the bins, which you never see. It's a size small. This will move in no time flat. I, I mean, it might not sell until summer because it is a sundress, but like, can you handle this? I, I'm obsessed with this print. I love, I love the, I love the green and orange. I love the hits of navy blue. I love the shape of this. Oh, so cute. You know, maybe maybe 25 or 30 bucks on this, maybe a little bit more. Um, but I just think that is so cute. Oh, we got another pair of leggings here. And these are from Athleta. That's Athleta there. Um, these I think are there. Oh, they have pockets. This is not what I thought they were. I thought that these were a specific kind of legging and now I am second guessing everything. So I don't know. I don't know what I'll get on these. You know, maybe if these are older, Athleta is one that I recommend you, like, especially if you are dealing with sourcing and you're paying more than, like, a dollar. Like, for me, if this is something that's not, um, you know, not necessarily going to sell really well, it's not a huge deal because it was a dollar. Um, but if you're in the world, you know, if you maybe don't have access to a bins location or you can only go out on weekends or you only have, like, regular thrift stores around you and you're dealing in, like, the 5 to $7, like, sourcing price range... Um, before you, before you tangle with Athleta, um, especially their athletic wear, like I'm not talking their like athleisure or anything like that. That's kind of a different beast, but I'm talking specifically like their leggings or sports bras, whatever. Uh, do a little research, um, because the newer stuff will sell pretty well. Uh, they do sell out a lot, you know, and they're pretty high priced to start with, but some of their older stuff is just going to sit around. Like I said, you know, for me, I'm lucky that I only paid a dollar for this. So if they're not you know, worth much. It's not a lot of skin off of my back. But um, again, if you are in a situation where you're sourcing for a higher dollar amount, um, and so you really need that kind of guaranteed return on investment, do your research. Next up, this was an interesting piece. I grabbed this because the cotton felt so good. And this is just like a little basic kind of navy blue drawstring skirt with a little ruffle. The brand is called Global Girlfriend. And I'm not really sure where this is made, but it's all, like when I looked it up, it's all fair trade made by women paid a living wage in Uganda. So down for that. Um, and it's just a cute little classic, like throw this on over a bathing suit or throw this on, you know, and, and call it a day. Just really cute, really basic. I think it's a size large. I'm oh, sorry, that's a size small. So it's a nice generous cut, <laughs> but you know, maybe $15, $20 on this. I'm not I, you know, I wasn't able to find many, like, comps at all on this brand, but I did pick it up because the cotton felt so nice, and I'm always down for a fair trade moment, and getting that back out into the world, especially, um, you know, given the climate in the world today. So, definitely a good find. Next up, ooh, this was such a, <laughs> don't mind me, like, throwing things over my head. Um, this was a beautiful find. Okay, so this is a maxi skirt, and I'm gonna try to show you how this sits. I think it goes this way. Yes, the button closure is on the side. So this is a maxi skirt. And look at that print, first of all. And then you've got little slits, not little slits, but you have slits on the sides, both sides. So it's got this incredible movement to it. Uh, it's fully lined, and it's from a brand called Sirena. 
that is the tag. And I grabbed this because the construction quality felt really nice. The fabric felt really nice. So when it comes to manufacturing, uh, placement of print gets very expensive. That's why, like, if you're looking, if you're shopping and you're looking for something and you want to, you know, I don't I, my mom taught me this really young. She always said, if you want to see if something is really high quality, she's like, look at the print. And if it matches up along the seam, you know that it's a well-made garment. And that's because it costs money. Like, it's... It's not like cutting a pattern and just like using as much of the fabric as humanly possible. Like it requires more fabric to have placed patterns. So I picked this up because, because of the placement of the patterns. It's a really kind of beautifully precision done. Look at that mitering on the side. It's called mitering if you've ever, um, that's mitering the pattern if you've, if you've never heard that term. Um, and, I, you know, I wasn't really able to find much from this brand. I believe this was sold in anthropology at least at one point. So I'm assuming that that's kind of how it, it ended up here. But again, it's lined in cotton, which is nice. So it breathes. It's so breezy. It's a size small. I think this is a size small. My waist is a little tiny. Yeah, size small. Um, I have no idea what I'll get for this. You know, maybe 25, 35 bucks. But I just thought this was so stunning. So, so beautiful and in beautiful condition. Like this doesn't look like it's ever been worn. I mean, this pattern looks like it, like this fabric looks like it was hand painted. And I kind of wouldn't be surprised if it was. Like, looking at the quality of the rest of the piece, like, I would not be surprised if this was, like, a hand-painted textile. But super, super stunning. A brand to be on the lookout for. I'll try to update you when this does sell, um, e either if I could do it in one of my big uh, ship-with-me's or if I could do it in one of my short-form ship-with-me's. And by the way, if, speaking of short-form ship-with-me's, I've been trying to upload more to my TikTok and more to my Instagram. So I will put my... Um, handles here-ish. I'll also link them down below. So do feel free to give me a follow if you want a little bit more of that content, especially in terms of like what's sold. I, you know, I don't do a big video unless I have enough items to kind of warrant that kind of time investment for you and for me. Um, so on kind of smaller days, I'll do like a little vertical short form content. So be sure to keep up for that. And I will try to, um, I'll try to make sure that when this does go, I'll put it in one of those two because it is very cool and I think it's going to be a brand to keep your eyes out for. Next up, now I've got this very cool thing from Billabong and I got to tell you guys, um, I've, I've talked a lot about how I don't grab surf brands all that often because they're often not great quality, but I will tell you that every Billabong piece that I have gotten in like the last six or seven months has sold in days, like under a week. Um, but I, I'm also finding very cool pieces. So this is a gorgeous little kimono. Everybody loves a kimono. It's black and white, which I adore. It's a size small, but this size is very generous. Like I tried this on and it fit me. Just not as oversized as I'm sure it would be on somebody who is actually size small. There's the pattern kind of on the back. Beautiful condition, little tassel ties. I could probably 25, 35 bucks on this. It is long, it's got nice slits. This could easily be a beach cover up. This could be something you throw on over a tank top and jeans. Very cool. I'm, I'm excited to see if this pattern continues with Billabong because I've been kind of floored by it. Next up, I got this cute little top from Maeve. This is an anthro brand. And I just thought this was so cute. It's a size small, but it's uh, this little like white kind of boho top. It's got a raw hem here. These little, they look like dots, I think, on camera, but they're actually little hearts. I don't know if you can see that, but this looks like a hand-drawn pattern. It's so lovely. And look at the little detail on the sleeves with the raw edge. I mean, there it's like a raw edge, but, you know, true to form, it's finished. This is a finished raw edge, so it's not going to, like, fray up the sleeves. It's, 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 uh, it's raw to, like, a little piece of facing there. Very cute. And again, in perfect condition. Oh, my God, look at the buttons. I didn't even see the buttons. Look at the buttons. Oh, I die. It's all about the details, man. I just, I just love it. <laughs> so probably 25 to 30 on this. It's just so cute. Oh, details, guys. I'm such a sucker for the details, despite the fact that I wear like pretty much all black. I love the details. Next up, now I grabbed this cute little dress. It's from a brand called Sunday Best. This is another Aritzia brand. It's this cute little slip dress. It's like a little kind of skater style dress in this 
kind of yellow, like orange and seafoam green colorway. There are some underarm stains, so I'm gonna see if I can get that out uh, before I sell it. If not, I'll just have to disclose that, but it's otherwise in fantastic condition. It's a size small, I'm pretty sure this is a size small. Size four. Um, again, adjustable straps, little mini length. I found so many dresses like this. I just, I don't know, I don't know what it was but so cute. And again, Sunday Best is another brand to be on the lookout for. It's Aritzia. Aritzia is a very expensive store. They kind of do a lot of really high-end basics. Sunday Best is one of their in-house brands and, um, you know, quality is there. Like, the, it's expensive, but the quality is there to back it up, which is not something you can say about every brand in the world, but, you know, Aritzia for sure. And speaking of Aritzia, this is another piece from Aritzia from another one of their in-house brands. This is Babaton. And I think I had a Babaton piece in a previous haul just recently, but Babaton is another one of their in-house brands and they make, you've seen me wear Babaton like 40 times. Um, those little um, utility shirts that I wear are all Aritzia. They're, they're all this Babaton brand. This is a size zero, but it's just this beautiful, classic little black, jewel neck, short sleeve, shift dress. Your classic forever little black dress. Um, this probably retails, I'm trying to think what Babaton dresses go for, probably about 168, maybe a little bit less than that. So this will probably retail, and again, perfect condition, does not look like it's ever been worn. Probably 40 bucks on this maybe, maybe a little bit more depending on um, the style. It is a size zero, so maybe closer to 40, but, um, Fantastic finds that the three Aritzia pieces in one haul. I can't remember if I have any more. I think that's it, but great find. Next up is another banger, guys. <laughs> Charlie Holiday, which I believe was sold in both Anthropology and Revolve. This cute, another cute little like skater dress, and it's this cute little poppy pattern. I think these are poppies. So, so adorable. This is a size, yeah. Okay, so it's a size UK 10, so a US 6. It's got um, a smocked back, you know, so it's gonna be adjustable around the bust in terms of fit. And it's in fantastic condition. Look at these cute little like puff sleeves with a little ruffle. This obviously needs a date with my steamer. It's gonna look fantastic when it's all done. But um, I think that these retail about 150 bucks, so maybe 30, $40 on this. Next up, and talk about a hard left turn. I found these, I know that these are really sought after. I have a couple friends who hunt and they love this brand. This is 5.11 Tactical. I don't know if I'm saying this right. And I really feel like I'm kind of, you know, in, in over my head with this brand because I don't really know, but they feel to be in great condition. They are a size, um, yeah, 35, 36, so it's a good size. They're um, they're not cotton. They're kind of, I don't want to call this ripstop. It feels like a, uh, like almost like a tech cotton. It's got a little bit of stretch to it. Um, I'm assuming that part of this is some abrasion resistance. I'm assuming these are made to be worn while hunting and doing stuff like that, but really great condition, brown cargo pants. Um, I think that they retail for like 90 bucks, so maybe 20 to 30 bucks. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call this a brand to be on the lookout for. If any of you know a little bit more about this brand or have sold a lot of this brand, comment down below, let us all know. Um, but I thought that they were really good quality, so I grabbed them and took a chance on them. So interested to see how they do. Oh my God, this shirt. Oh, so cute. So this is another piece from Waif. I found a couple pieces from Waif recently. Waif is a, I believe a Nordstrom brand. Look at this. Look at this cute little top. It's a size, it's a size medium. So it's a, it's a good size for a top like this. And this is not, um, this is not cotton. Like this, looks like cotton, but it has a little bit more slip to it. I'm not quite sure what I would call this material, but it's it's one of those materials that's just, um, it's gonna hold its shape, but it still has a nice drape to it. So cute, so it's stretchy up top, adjustable all the way, stretchy here, so you can actually move. Stretchy here at the waist as well. So while this looks like something that might look a little constrictive, you're going to be in total comfort in this. And this feels absolutely, positively 
brand spanking new. I don't know, maybe $20, $25 on that. I think it's so cute. It's so cute. I mean, it's very springy, so it might not sell for a few months, but um, I don't care. Because <laughs> I think I think that I think that shirt is so stinking cute. So next up, we've got another Zara piece, and I, there's no content tag on this, but I'm telling you right now that this is a linen blend. Um, I just thought this was really cute. It's a little uh, little linen blend t-shirt. It's kind of boxy, almost like a poncho silhouette. Can you kind of see that? But then the sleeves are this kind of ruffle that go all the way down to the hem. So it's really interesting, and it looks very good on. Like, it just has a nice drape to it once it's on and, like, hanging over a shoulder. Uh, you know, maybe $15, $20 on this. Uh, maybe a little bit more if I can find out a little bit more. I always love seeing, like, Sarah makes so many things in Morocco, which is so interesting. Um, anyway. I just thought that this was a beautiful basic and I wasn't going to leave that behind. Again, not something that I would have grabbed for like, you know, $5.99, which is kind of at our normal um, Goodwill, at our normal Goodwills, like what the t-shirts, what the short sleeve shirts go for. I wouldn't have paid $5.99 for it, but a dollar all day. So cute. And again, another white piece in beautiful condition coming out of the bins. What was going on? Next up, another Zara piece. And I believe these are pretty much new with tags they still have the little loop on it but i'm gonna i'm gonna try to rush to get these up pretty quickly they're a size extra large Ooh. yeah size extra large which is a great size and can you see this is like a little um like a brocade this feels very like holiday party I, I menswear inspired i think somebody could do something very cool with this also considering keeping things for myself uh, would not be ashamed, uh, but I think that these retailed probably 68 bucks, so I would see maybe 30 on these. Um, fantastic condition. If they were worn, they were worn once, and which uh, which makes sense because they are kind of a special pair of pants. This isn't necessarily something that you're gonna like wear once a week at the office. This isn't those like Aritzia effortless pants. <laughs> this is something that you pull out for a party, but great find on those. Next up, now I don't know much about this, so hive mind if you're out there and you recognize it, let me know. But this, I felt this, this is a silk. You know, this is 100% silk. And look at the tag. I'm gonna get this real close to the camera so you can see it. I don't know. So it says it's by Daniel, D-A-N-I-A-L Nord. And I've only seen like one other sold comp on, or one other comp on this for sale. You know, and it's going for like 35 bucks, but the quality is there. And the tag is really interesting to me. I'm going to do a little bit more research on this. I mean, it's, I, you know, you don't see much better quality than what you see in this piece. It really is very, very nicely made. And it's definitely what, I mean, again, I paid a dollar for it, so it's not like I'm really rolling the dice on it, but um, I'm very intrigued. And it, guys, if any of you have ever found this before, sold it before, have any in your closet, comment down below and let a girl know. Let us all know, because um, this is intriguing. Is it vintage? Like, I don't even know if it's vintage. I don't know. Very interesting. Uh, to be continued. <laughs> oh, yes. Next up. Guys, how many white items did I get? I'm, like, kind of floored. Next up is this incredible thermal mini dress. First of all, I wish you could feel, like, the quality <laughs> of this fabric. Because it is so... I mean, okay, so this brand is called... I'll start from the beginning here. This brand is called Cotton Citizen. And it's a super high-end brand, and they make a lot of, like, elevated basics, and this would fall into one of their more, like, avant-garde pieces, because it is a dress. Like, I could, when I first grabbed this, I thought it was just a hooded thermal, and when I took it out, I'm like, that is way too long to be a thermal. Um, but this was probably a good $200 when it was new. Um, I'm not quite sure where they're sold. I think they're sold standalone, like, on their own website, but I think they might also be sold at Revolve or um, Farfetch, I could be wrong. But either way, I know it's a very high-end brand. And I mean, if you were ever to like get your hands on a piece, you would understand why. Like the quality is there and they do cotton. And it's what they do. They only do cotton and they do it probably better than most people in the world. But 
probably 40 bucks on this. I can't, I look, I found the name of this particular model, but I'll put it down on the screen um, to let you know when I, when I go through to edit this, but what a great find. What a great find. And Cotton Citizen for sure is a bolo brand. Definitely keep your eyes out for that as you are shopping, as you are sourcing. Next up is, and I love a one piece moment. And I especially love a one piece moment. Look at this color. Look at that color. Isn't that beautiful? It's a beautiful like peacock blue. It's tinsel, so it's got a nice drape to it. This is from Black House, uh, White House Black Market. It's a size eight and it's short sleeve and it's just like a little utility style jumpsuit. And it is so cute, guys. Jumpsuits move for me. Like, they move really, really well. Uh, you know, they're an expensive piece typically to find out retail. And people don't often wear them a ton just because they are kind of a statement piece. Um, but people love a one-piece wonder and love to find a deal on it, I guess. I, I very rarely find a one-piece that I leave behind. Um, but anyway, so these I think were like 150 new. I'll probably get like 35 on this, um, give or take a little bit, but in fantastic condition. And look, I just, I'm obsessed with this color. Look at that. So gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. Next up, we've got a great piece from Sundance. Love to find it. One of my favorite brands to find. Sundance just has that following, but obviously for good reason, because the quality is there. Look at these sleeves. Oh my God. Can you handle this? Again, another white piece, blowing out my camera lens. Um, but it's this beautiful, like, so this is slub cotton, and it's just like a t-shirt silhouette with these beautiful lace inset pieces. It's it's asymmetrical, so you see it's kind of like higher up here than it is here. Beautiful piecing on the sleeves. I like, this is just stunning. It's a size medium. Um, again, another white piece in the bins. Completely un, unscathed. Probably, I don't know, 25, 30, so somewhere between 25 and 35 bucks on this. It is a t-shirt at the end of the day, despite the fact that it is so special with these lace inset pieces, but um, yeah, somewhere between 25 and 35 bucks on this, and I think that'll go very quickly. I went shopping um, a couple days ago, so I, I checked these in same day, and I haven't really looked through this bag since, and I forgot how freaking amazing all of this stuff is. So next up, and this is another brand that I've never heard of before, I think it's vintage, and it's just Ice, I-C-E. And it's just a 100% silk little cute top with polka dots. I love the colorway on this. It's polka dot, but it's kind of a very refined color palette. It's, uh, it's black and like a dark red and a camel color. And then the field it's on is like a pinky cream. Um, anyway, it's in beautiful condition. It's got like a little gather there on the back for shaping. It's a size, I think this is a size, no, it's a size large. Um, absolutely adorable. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is vintage and it will look, oh, never mind. See, this is what happens when you see it in the light. Mm, there's definitely some gather here. So I'll probably donate this, but either way, it's a brand to keep your eyes out for because this satin, this silk feels beautiful. Ah, that's a bummer. You win some, you lose some. Maybe I can do something with that fabric. I don't know. I have to stop doing that. <laughs> I have to stop doing that. I have so many shirts that I'm holding for fabric. Next up, and another Bolo brand, guys. This is another brand you can find on Revolve. I believe you can buy this on Farfetch. This is La Cotame. You see that? And this is just a cute little cropped, another white piece in the bins, guys. I don't... I don't know what's going on, although I do think this is the last one. Um, it's got these beautiful, like, oversized kind of blouson sleeves. This is a drawstring, so you can kind of cinch that up to go right under the bust, or you can leave it open like this. Absolutely perfect condition. It's a size, I think it's a medium? No, it's a size small. And, I, you know, this was probably a good $175 shirt when it was new. It's a very expensive brand. So depending on, you know, how many are out there, sold comps, you know, somewhere between probably $25 and $45 on this. Um, definitely a brand to be on the lookout for because it, it, it's, it's in demand right now. 
Next up, now this was an incredible find. This is a dress from Michael Kors collection. This is not to be confused with MK Michael Kors, which is like 98% of the Michael Kors pieces you see out there. Uh, Michael Kors, MK Michael Kors is what you'll see at like Macy's or Strawbridge's, Strawbridge's, is Strawbridge's still around? Lord and Taylor? Um, but this is Michael Kors's ready to wear collection. So it's not his couture, it's not the stuff that he has walking down the runway, but it is his like ready to wear collection that you would find at like Saks Fifth Avenue, Neiman Marcus, uh, Bergdorf's. So, Hello, this is probably about $1,500 when it was new. And it's this beautiful navy blue, like kind of oversized, like modern fit shirt dress. It's got snap collar. It's in beautiful condition. It's this beautiful, like stretch cotton. I as crisp as good, like crisp is like the only word I can think of when I see this. I'm not sure what I'll get on this. I'm assuming somewhere over $100. I have not seen this specific dress but I've seen other kind of similar Michael Kors collection dresses going in the two to $300 range. I'm never gonna bank on that. I'm gonna bank on the lower end. And I think the lower end on this is gonna be about 100. Also look at the little snap pockets. Isn't that incredible? Beautiful dress, absolutely stunning. So crisp. So this is something that I grabbed and it was um, literally right next to this. So I'm wondering if it was coming, if it came out, no, no, this came from the, the store. Let's see, this also came from the store. Oh my God, people, buy the Michael Kors while it's there. I just thought this was so cute. This is like a little windbreaker and it is from a brand. I'll, 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 I'll read you the tag, but it has this pretty like, do you see that detail around the collar? So this collar is meant to like stand up. And when I picked it up, I'm like, this feels very Japanese. This feels very much like what I would see like an elegant woman wearing in Japan. And sure enough, because they're very big on neutral colors with like interesting, but still classic cuts. And this is from a brand called La Monet Tokyo. So there we go. Um, I haven't found many sold comps, but the quality on this was really nice. And the style on this was really nice. So regardless, I think that this will sell pretty quickly either way. Look at that. Look at that little detail in the back. So it has, this sits kind of like mid back and then it's got like a little bit of pleating with a bubble hem, like a little, and not like an aggressive bubble hem, just like a little bit to add a little bit of volume there at the bottom. I just thought this was so pretty. So probably, you know, retail, some of their stuff retails for like two or $300. So I don't think it's a low end brand. Um, but maybe $30, maybe somewhere between 30 and 70, we'll find out. Um, but again, that's something that I picked up just based on style. You know, even if even if that's only gonna get me 20 bucks, I'm not mad about it, because that is a beautiful piece. You guys, the hits keep coming with these dresses. This is another piece from Waif, the same company that made that beautiful little gingham kind of crop top. And another one of these little like cottage core dresses and this one's in kind of a very floaty fabric. It feels a little bit like a um, like a gorget, like a rayon gorget almost. You know, so it's got that nice drape to it. Beautiful floral pattern. This one's long sleeves. It again has the smocked back, so it's adjustable. You know, so it'll fit a lot of different busts. Absolutely beautiful. It's a size medium in great condition. Again, probably thirty-five bucks on this. It is a midi length with a ruffle at the bottom. So, so cute. I like, I cannot believe how many of these dresses. And I'm looking in here and I think I have one or two more to show you. It was a crazy day. It was an absolutely crazy day. Next up here, we've got this great pair of pants from Faithful the Brand, another Revolve brand. Definitely one to be on the lookout for. And these feel so like right now. These are like drawstring waist, cotton kind of utility cargo pants in this nice like avocado green color. You know, Faithful Brand is very expensive. These are probably about $150 new. They're in fantastic condition. They are a size extra small, um, but again, a brand to be on the lookout for, for sure. I'll probably get 20, uh, maybe closer to 30 to 40 on these. Uh, really, really great find. And again, a brand to be on the lookout for, for sure. This is a cute little dress from a brand called Kabi. And I've seen these before, and they do have a pretty healthy resale. They are, I believe, like a multi-level marketing company, um, similar to like a LuLaRoe or something like that, which, you know, 
not my favorite thing in the world, but um, they do send, they do seem to have pieces that are in demand. And I don't really know about the model. I don't know if it's something where they do like limited runs and people are kind of like specifically looking for specific uh, models or specific patterns, but they do. I mean, some of these that I'm seeing have sold comps 60 or $70. I'm going to bank on about 30. I just think that's really pretty. And I, I gotta say the quality is there. The finishing is really nice. Um, it's got a smocked waist, which everybody like everybody loves a smocked waist for comfort. It's double, it's double layer. So it's not necessarily like fully lined where you don't have to worry about like, you know, underpinnings, but it is double layer for a little bit of opacity. Um, kind of a cool find. I'm interested to see how that does. Next up guys, you see it and the price is right. Buy it. This is Carhartt. This is a 3XL shirt, and actually one of the sweet ladies in my Vins location just gave it to me. She's like, do you want this Carhartt? I'm like, do you not want it? <laughs> I'll take it. Um, but definitely something always to be on the lookout for. Carhartt sells lightning fast. It's something where, like, if you're a guy and you do, like, physical labor and you wear Carhartt, like, you only wear Carhartt. And it's expensive, and it lasts forever. So to find something like this in good shape... This will sell in no time, especially in a 3XL that's harder to find. Um, you know, probably 35 bucks on that. And again, I think that'll sell very quick. Next up, I got this cute little top from Free People. Uh, this is a size small. I just thought this was absolutely adorable. It's like a little crop top, but the sides are tied. So it's like, it almost kind of goes on like a penny. Do we remember pennies? Was that a regional term for them? Pennies? like the little things you used to wear in gym class. So this goes on like a penny and, side, and ties on the side, but I just love the mixed fabrics and the mixed prints. You know, probably $20, $25 on this, but I just thought that was so cute. Such a cute little piece for summer, very festival. I can see a million girls out on a beach wearing that. Now this was one that I grabbed um, because of the quality of the cotton, once again. This is a brand called Soul Sibling, and I've never heard of it before. There's not much out there. I'm wondering if it was just kind of like a, a brand that somebody started off and it just didn't really take off. But it's this, this is a men's shirt, and this is the little logo. See the little eye on it? Um, but this cotton is phenomenal. Phenomenal quality. It's like a slub cotton. It's long sleeve. It's got kind of a like a, a vented side and a drop tail on it. Um, not a clue what I'll get for this. Like I said, I grabbed this because of the quality of the fabric and the style is a very specific specific style for men. Um, so I would imagine that this is something that would be sought after by guys who wear this kind of style. It's a size medium, great condition. Um, again, this cotton, chef's kiss. Raw hem on that as well. Little roll raw hem on that. So that'll only look better with wash. Next up, now this is a brand I don't often, I don't often see it. It's not that I don't pick it, it's that I don't often see it. And I don't know if this is one of the ones that's gonna be worth a ton or not, but this is Super Dry. And Super Dry, I believe, is a Japanese brand. You see it around here. This is kind of like one of their, like, they do a lot with palm trees. Um, if any of you out there have uh, sold a lot of Super Dry, comment below, let us know what we're looking for. Like, what are the pieces that we wanna find? Because I know some of them have resales up in like, you know, up, up in the 80s. I'm gonna guess probably $20, $25 on this, but super soft, great condition, navy blue. This just feels like it's made to be on the beach. It's got that nice kind of like French terry inside. It's not like a fleeced interior. Um, really beautiful, it's a size small, super cute. Like I said, I'm gonna bank on probably 20 bucks on this, but um, let us know. Let us know in the comments if you, if you have any more intel. Oh my God, there's pockets in it too. Come on. And last piece here, guys, and I think I saved the best for last. I like, I couldn't believe when I saw this. Are you kidding me? It's a smoking jacket. <laughs> it's a smoking jacket. I believe this is vintage. I'm gonna get you up close on that, on that tag. I, I haven't been able to find anything on this brand, but if you look at the quality of the tag and if you look kind of closely at the embroidery on the tag and the details on the tag, like it feels kind of high end. Now this is not silk satin. Um, 
this is, I think it's, I think, I guess it's acetate. That's what it is. Um, but the 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 velvet is cotton for sure. So, and the quality is really nice. So I don't know if this is vintage or if this is a costume piece or maybe something made. Um, I found a brand out there while I was kind of digging for this that makes, they call it old school uniforms or like modern uniforms for old school service. So maybe, you know, it could be something, you know, you look at like Downton Abbey, like High Cleary Castle is a real thing and they have a real butler and the butlers really wear like old school livery. So maybe it's something like that. Um, but either way, like I, you know, I see like true vintage smoking jackets with like the quilted collars and all that going in like the 200 to $260 range. So I don't know, maybe 60 or 70 bucks for it. And I don't think that this will move fast, but I kind of love the idea of just like having this in my closet for any of my friends who might happen to need a smoking jacket for something because, you know, this is the level of unhinged I strive to be in terms of what I keep in my closet. Uh, like I said, I probably 50, 60 bucks on that, but what a cool find. So that is it, guys. That is the absolutely positively unhinged, crazy, huge haul for today. I think, um, I think there were some really cool pieces in there. I'm so excited to start listing these. I'm hoping by the time that this is live, some of these pieces will start being in my closet. So I'll of course have uh, my closets linked down below. If anything in here is like your jam, feel free to make me an offer. Um, but what a great, <laughs> What a great pile of stuff. So for all you numbers nerds out there, I had 50 pieces, including the pieces that I'm going to donate back. So I spent $50. The retail value, the MSRP on all of this stuff, and again, I'm very much guesstimating because I don't know how much like this would have cost initially, uh, is about $7,000. So I paid $50 for $7,000 worth of merch, which is crazy. I'm anticipating somewhere between like $1,400 and $1,600 worth of sales on all of this stuff, which is a great day. Uh, then that would bring my profit to about, you know, $1,100 to $1,200 um, after fees and all that. But that brings my return on investment to about 24x, which I am so, so happy about. Um, this was a lot of stuff. It's going to be a lot of work to like photograph it and steam it and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, guys, when you find treasures like this, like I, I just, it makes it all worth it. But you know, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging with me while I go through these things. I have so much fun. I love sharing them with you. It is so like, it feeds my soul. You have no, you have no idea. Like truly, I can I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I can't believe I have so many people out there in the world that are into the same weird stuff that I'm into. But guys, without further ado, have an absolutely fantastic week. Happy hunting. And I will see you in the next one.